Reverend Colvin and I stand here today advocating to place into the Ohio Constitution and perhaps one day into the National Constitution a voter's bill of rights that protects us from encroachment of our civil rights. Since 2008, all told a dozen states approved new obstacles to voting. Kansas and Alabama now require would-be voters to provide proof of citizenship before registering. Florida and Texas made it harder for groups like the League of Women Voters to register new voters. Maine repealed Election Day voter registration, which had been on the books since 1973. Florida, Georgia, Ohio, Tennessee, and West Virginia cut short their early voting periods. Florida and Iowa barred all ex-felons from the polls, disenfranchising thousands previously eligible to vote. Alabama, Kansas, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Wisconsin require move to require voters to produce a government-issued ID before casting ballots. Several rabbis here in Cleveland, others in Cincinnati, Columbus, elsewhere in our state are joining together with pastors, ministers from Christian communities, religious leaders of all kinds to urge that we do whatever we can to strengthen voter rights to improve voting awareness and encourage voter participation. The only reason we're having this conversation in the first place is because there is a systematic effort by a majority in the legislature to disenfranchise a broad constituency of the American public and American citizenry and of registered voters in order to win elections. It means raising our voice at the very least to get this on the ballot for Ohioans to carefully consider.